Hey guys, I'm at the LG event. Let's go ahead and check out the LG V60. Hi guys, so this year we got the LG V60 Thin Q. Uh, this is gonna be the latest LG's flagship. So this year it's gonna come in two colors. This is sort of a pearl white color. And we got sort of, sort of blue color with gold bands. Right, you can see the camera hump is real smooth. There's actually barely any camera hump, which I really like about LG phones. So we got 6.8 inches of real estate. Uh, this year it's gonna be almost a 21 by nine inch screen. So it's super ultra wide. I like the form factor, it's a big phone. It's about the same size as my Asus Rock, as you can see here, Rock 2. So very good large phone. Let's go over the, some of the specs. So on the bottom, you will still find a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. LG is like the only company that still has it, which I really like. Um, you got uh, stereo speakers, the right speakers right here. You got four microphones this year with this special feature called bokeh sound or bokeh recording, I forget. Anyway, with that, you're gonna be able to, uh, let's say in a crowded area, you're gonna be able to hear and focus on your subject. So I'll definitely try that out. Also on the left, you got volume buttons, power button, another microphone. All right, that's two microphones we counted. There's a SIM card slot with micro SD. Another microphone. There's a power button on the right side, All right? Pretty good design. I really like the frame, the metal frame, minimal bezels. And on top, you'll find a front camera, 10 megapixel. Uh, it's not that wide as I expected from LG. It's not really wide angle in my opinion. I think it would be better if they had wide angle. So this year, it's gonna ship with actually two cameras. Uh, it's a 64 megapixel main camera. It's got a 64 megapixel camera sensor. Um, that's why they don't need the 2X optical uh, zoom camera because with the 64 megapixel, um, you're still gonna be able to retain your quality and use digital um, zoom to get that telephoto. Now you're not gonna find um, 10X telephoto obviously like the S20, but I really like the fact that they kept the uh, wide angle and the regular camera. On most smartphones actually, the 2X optical is actually not that much better or sometimes worse than digital zoom. So the biggest thing this year uh, with LG V60, for me personally, it's the 8K video camera. Also with the camera view finder, you get a 60 Hertz. I don't know if you can tell, but everything is super smooth when you take uh, videos or photos. For 8K video, which I'm in, um, you're not going to be able to use the ultra wide angle, but you can use the 2X zoom, which works quite well and very, very nice uh, stabilization as you can see there. All right. If you go to 4K, now you're going to be able to do 2X and also use the wide angle. All right. And you can do a digital zoom in 4K up to 10X, as you can see there. Another really cool feature this year, personally for me, you can do up to 4K 60 frames per second with the front camera, you can see there. Now with the LG G8, there was no front facing camera focus, it was fixed focus. Now they've added a focus, so you get a nice bouquet when you do close-ups. This is like absolutely necessary, especially if you do a lot of vlogging and you wanna use your phone. Now you can at four, up to 4K 60 frames per second. I'll probably probably stick to 4K 30 frames per second. I'll start making more videos uh, with the 4K 60 frames per second. This is probably the biggest feature in my opinion uh, with the LG uh, this V60 that they fixed the autofocus. Uh, so it is auto on the front and also they've added 4K 60 frames per second. So I really like that. For photo front camera, this is how wide it looks. Let me go ahead and show you side by side with my Pixel 4. And you can see the Pixel 4 is much, much wider. So the only thing missing this year, I would have rather have slightly wider camera. Maybe LG should put two cameras. That would be awesome like they did with the LG V10 and the V50. Uh, front facing camera selfie quality seems to be pretty decent. Obviously I'll have to do more testing, but for right now it looks pretty good. For portrait mode, you're gonna find uh, the regular portrait mode, color focus, uh, some different options that's going to be great for Instagram. You got stickers. This is going to be great when your kids play with your phone. Now, one of the biggest features this year is the portrait mode, 3D portrait mode. Uh, what this allows you to do is uh, basically take a photo uh, in portrait mode and the background moves. All right. Um, that I'll have to show you next time because it's, well, I'll show you this one here. This one's still a prototype, so it's 
not completely perfect yet, but you can see the background move. And there's Andrew Edwards. I, I took this for a test drive and took a bunch of photos outside. A video quality is excellent in 8K. This is actually in the 8K. So of course, the biggest thing with LG V60 this year is that they kept the dual screen. So we got dual screen there and you just pop it on just like before. And they have changed it slightly, but it's pretty much the same thing, I think. You got a little LCD there and pop it up. What's different this year is that you can open all the Google apps uh, in full, full screen. So LG is gonna go ahead and sell both um, the dual screen and the phone at lower price starting point than the Samsung Galaxy S20. And you know, Samsung has been raising prices on their phones. It's just ridiculously high now. So in terms of pricing, I think LG got it right this year, especially if you multitask, if you do any kind of like crypto trading, stock trading, um, this is going to be great because I actually use two phones to do my crypto Bitcoin trading because I'll have to use VPN to log on to one of the crypto sites. So one of my phones is on VPN. One of my other phones is using TradingView. I have to use two phones. Now with this, you won't be able to use VPN separately. There may be a way to do it. This will definitely help you watch the charts and trade on one screen, which is huge for traders, stock traders, uh, Bitcoin traders, especially if you trade on your mobile phone all the time, like myself. I think that's a key feature. And I think the G8 dual screen was also really popular among uh, crypto enthusiasts. And if you need two screens for any reason, two different apps open at the same time on a huge screen without, you know, doing uh, Android's default multitasking windows, I think this is a great option. Again, the price is right. Of course, um, this is going to be the 5G version. I'm not too keen on 5G, but yeah, you can do 5G. Also, just like last year, you'll need an extra adapter to charge through the case or you can just simply pull it out. It's pretty easy. And again, LG is using um, the same screen from the main screen. So you will find a ghost hole on the second screen, which is fine because you're paying less than thousand dollars. LG strategy is to um, save you money and we get more screen, right? I mean, compare this to like something like a Galaxy Fold. I mean, it's, it's a steal. And Galaxy Fold sold for what, $3,000? when it launched. Now it's like a third of the price. You can get one for like $1,000 on eBay. So I, I really like that LG kept everything practical. Instead of making a phone that only maybe, you know, the top 10% of the population will really buy, um, they made a phone that everybody can afford. I really like the 8K camera, um, the super wide, and also the regular. Video quality is gonna be really good. Again, the only thing missing is wide angle for the front. I don't know why they took it out. Also, if you absolutely need a headphone jack, if you're a gamer, you absolutely can't live with the Bluetooth 5.0 delay, which is actually almost no delay when you're playing games like Fortnite or something and you know, shooting games and you need to hear that sound before the enemies approach you and shoot them back. You can go ahead and use your traditional headphones and be able to take advantage of that. What I found really handy was obviously the folding mechanism. When I do a YouTube live or Periscope or something, I can just set it on the, set it on the desk without having to get a thick case with a stand, you know, one of those flip out stands. That's really nice. Also, another great thing is, you know, I, I usually watch YouTube videos when I eat dinner or lunch. I'm always grabbing like a vitamin C bottle and putting my phone on as stand or I'm grabbing a cup. So this sort of solves all of that. I honestly, with the G8, I didn't use the folding, the second screen much, but what you can do, this is an absolute essential uh, in your dining table when you watch YouTube videos, when you're checking online stuff or you have to watch your Bitcoin prices while you eat, um, you can go ahead and pop your phone in quickly and just leave that on the desk while you eat and watch YouTube videos or trade Bitcoins. And another thing is with this, for example, nowadays I actually use my phone naked and I've not broken it amazingly. I dropped this phone so many times. I noticed without a case, it gets super slippery. So for like my Pixel 4, uh, I usually carry this when I need to record videos on my electric skateboard um, because I got this thick case. If I drop it at 20 miles per hour going, at, going on my electric skateboard, I'm not gonna break my phone. So if you're doing any kind of activities where you may actually break your phone easily, such as um, sports activities, then you can use this second screen as protection. It's basically a case, right? It's gonna protect the back. Uh, for the front, even if you break the glass here, I mean, you can get a replacement for nothing. All right, compared to something like a Galaxy Fold. So that's, I think, pretty good. For security, we've got uh, on-screen fingerprint sensor like everybody else. You know what? 
but I still prefer the back fingerprint sensor. I wish LG brought it back because it's much quicker. Um, you don't leave so much fingerprints on your screen. And I think it's actually cheaper to produce the phone to have it on the back. Okay, let me go ahead and try to unlock the phone with my fingerprint. That works pretty fast. I'm not sure if this is an optical. I think this is optical to get back to you on that. Uh, speakers are pretty loud. Let me go ahead and play uh, one of my videos. So I know sound is very hard to describe with videos, but sound has really improved, much richer, uh, more bass I can hear than the LG G8. I was actually a little disappointed. I think LG G7 was pretty good, G8. Actually, I, th I think it got worse. The V60, uh, much louder sound, much richer. I don't think you'll complain with the sound. There is also an FM radio app, native app. All right, you will have to connect your headphones. So that's another reason to have headphone jack, so you can use it as FM radio. I know a lot of you older OG folks out there, um, you're gonna definitely enjoy that. So sometimes little things like that. I like that LG's sticking with practical stuff and price, where Samsung's sort of gone on to never, never land, or they just keep adding more features that you don't absolutely need and, and raise the prices 40%. So kudos to LG for that. Of course, I forgot to mention, um, there's four microphones, all right? One of the LG's best is a uh, recording microphone. For example, you need a standalone microphone and you want professional quality. You see like famous people on TV and there's reporters and they'll use their phone um, to record the voice. Use this and you can go to concerts. I mean, all of the LG phones have done it, but let me reiterate. I used to go to a lot of dubstep concerts around uh, in San Francisco and whenever I go, I would take my LG and you can adjust the gain LCF L LMT and even it's super loud club, you can record high quality audio with this phone. Also quad DAC, all right, it's gonna power your powerful headphones real well. Again, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I mean, LG just pioneered that with smartphones. And don't forget, wide angle also came from LG. Uh, and I have to tell the LG guys, you guys need to absolutely declare that you guys invented this on Android smartphones, which they pretty much did. But again, I'm, I'm a little disappointed they got rid of the front wide angle. Please bring it back. But yeah, I don't know if you can see, but it's super smooth. The 60 hertz, um, just for the camera view, um, it's, it's really nice. All right, I know a lot of you guys use Samsung phones because Samsung Pay is really convenient, and I love it too. But LG has their own LG Pay. It's the same, similar technology, just like MST on Samsung, and you can go ahead and use it with old card readers. So definitely that's another feature um, you should be aware of, that you can use it just like Samsung Pay. Uh, and LG has their own LG Pay. And this is the only other smartphone that has that technology where you can go ahead and use on older credit card machines with no NFC. So LG and Samsung now both have that technology. So one of the coolest features you will find um, when you're using the video camera, you'll have an option to do 3D sound, ASMR. Oh, that was a feature from LG that carried over. And the voice bouquet that I told you about earlier. So this will basically focus on the subject and basically silence the background. So I'm actually really looking for this feature. Now, right now you can't use this with third-party apps. For example, you do YouTube Live, Instagram Live, Facebook Live. So I told the LG people that they should put it as a, they should put this audio control as a pop-out. Maybe they'll add it as a software feature. We'll see, but if they do that, that means you can go to a really crowded area, use your phone, and people will be able to hear your voice uh, while you do your live stuff. So that's kind of cool. So I only have two hours to play with this phone, but my favorite, absolute favorite feature on this phone uh, is the 8K with the 2X zoom. It is so clear. Um, I'm gonna really love this. And you know, the reason why you use 8K isn't to make 8K videos. Once you record videos in 8K, um, you can do digital zoom up to 4x. It's like having four 4K cameras in one. So that's gonna allow you to do a lot of things, take great content um, with your smartphone and add it as B-roll to your main 4K camera, et cetera, et cetera. So this means this is an 8K and you got 2x zoom. So you got 8K that can do 2x and also you can do additional 4x digital zoom when you edit it in 4K. That's a total of 8x that you can do with this camera. So I feel like that's that's really awesome. Other than that, a nice upgrade um, this year. 
And this year, like I told you guys, I'm not gonna get a bunch of phones. I'm just tired of reviewing too many phones and I just, I just don't have time anymore. So I'm just gonna buy a few phones this year that I really like, that I use on daily basis. I only actually use two phones most of the time. I may pick up just two phones this year. And definitely this is one of the phones that I'm actually looking at. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, stay on Android.